now Nigeria is now within the top 100 countries in ease of doing business. 10 years ago, Nigeria was in the top 100 countries, but we've been sliding back in that ranking. It is our firm belief that for you to have a great country, you have to have a committed generation. But it takes, it takes a generation to build a country. It's not done in one administration. But certainly, like we say, trends are more important than levels, and we're headed in the right direction. We're not where we want to be, but we're not where we used to be. One of the things we've done as a government is to improve just access to credit, whether it's some of the social intervention funds for the smaller businesses, you know, for the artisans, you know, for the market women, or for SMEs, you know. For instance, Bank of Industry that you mentioned now has an objective to increase its capitalization to one, one trillion. It has about six, seven billion now, of which it's promising to make at least 10% of that money, 100 billion naira, available to SMEs. And I think that will make a big difference. Yeah. As a businessman, have you tried to assess any loan? Because government no, is saying that no, assessing no, loan is yeah. easy now. Now it's a lie. When good luck was in the former administration was in, in, was in power, I can sit in my car from my house. I call a manager of a GTB or Zenith Bank. I won facility. A particular amount will be given to me. But now because they say they won't treasury account, they have they have killed the economy of this country. Every money has moved into the central bank. The, the point of one treasury account was up to be 70% in our commercial bank. 30% in central bank, but this government came and packed everything to the central bank. Our Nigerian bank are struggling to, to collect to collect a millionaire loan. You need approval like two months from Lagos to pay you. No banks are not helping businessmen. You, you must have collateral and you must write a collateral, you must write power of attorney that you are selling your property because banks want to protect their money. The government has not given our banks to make the economy better. The government has made our banks very stiff and that's why we are in a tight corner. I'm sorry to call actual names, but Accessing a loan in Nigeria, I am still yet to see who they give a loan. I don't know, and none of my family members. As a matter of fact, I have a, a neighbor who wants to access a loan just to help her business so that she and her family can feed. And you know, because they, are, they keep buying, they keep selling things and eating up all the old things and they, they can't post up the business. So I want to know who collects that loan and who has been getting the loan. Because I think it's being given to a specific set of people. But it's, if it's a loan, it should cut our cost because we have what we call, um, in other places, there are social security number that allows you to access things. But I know we have a um, national um, ID card, but I don't think that works. So I don't know how to access a loan. Nobody that I know that has accessed a loan. And the only loan I know of is the one that you get in trouble after you get from the bank. They keep saying it, that when you want to access loan, it will be easy for you. Me, personally, I'm a fashion designer, and actually I needed loan. Okay. If I can get any, any uh, easy paying loan from the government, it will make my business more easier for me. But it is not be easy. Like as I'm telling you now, I'm just out of my shop because there is no light. The, the, the nature of business I do requires uh, so constant light, but there is no light. You understand? The amount of money we use in fueling our generator, sometimes it's affecting. And besides, the business is not moving because of the economic situation right now. So we need light, we need uh, financial support like loan from the government to easy our, you know, we actually have a lot to deliver. But because there is no enabling uh, environment for business people. So have, you, have you tried to assess loans recently? My brother. The situation, the requirement, the prerequisite they are putting before the businessmen to table before the banks, before you earn any loan in this country is, 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 is unpalatable. There is no way you can assess loan because the kind of prerequisite they are putting before you alone, for you to go about them alone, you may even end up in, in, in getting tired of the whole situation and you will go back and relax yourself instead of pursuing just uh, ambition. So there is no how any individual as a businessman in this country is having any easy access to any loan in this country. We listen to radio, television stations on a daily basis telling us that go to this, when you go there, what they will tell you is different from what you are hearing. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a worrisome situation.